Hey you guys, this is Eric McCarthy here once again for another awesome video for you guys and this time I'm going to give you my movie review of the new 2015 prequel slash spin-off to Despicable Me and that is Minions. And, and as you can see, I have something to show you guys. This is the Despicable Me, Despicable Me Minion Christmas ornament. I know it's not Christmas, but I decided to show it in anyway just for this review. So, yeah. Yep, so this is the ornament that I got. Here's I'm here so yeah, I just I'm I'm just showing this to you, so you'll you'll probably see this at the end of the video. So yep. Anyways, let's get started. So Minion stars Paris Coffin as the three minions, Kevin, Stuart and Bob, Sandra Bullock as Scarlet Overkill. John Hamm as Herb Overkill and many others. So anyways, let's start start this review. Um, Minions starts out as the Minions have existed on Earth since the beginning of time, finding some masters to rule. And what their goal is to find the the despicable villain that they can ever find. And but their plan of finding a villain always keeps failing like after like after villain after villain after villain and they just keep failing and that's and that's why they why they couldn't f find one to, to rule which they which they try to but it always kind of keeps en ending up to be to being failing so the minions um go to antarctica to you know like you know, live the rest of their lives without a master, but anyways, Kevin, Bob, and Stuart go on a long journey journey to find a, a villain, and, and they go to, to New York City afterwards, and they, they discover that, that they have to go to Orlando, and they go to and and the the family that picks up the minions are criminals and they go to a comic con like convention known as villain con and this movie takes place in 1968 as well and they they go to the to the convention and they find their their new master villain scarlet overkill and and the minions get get the job and what what and scarlet um wants wants the min minions to do is to steal queen o elizabeth's crown so that she can like be royalty but the minions try to get the crown but they they end up like goofing off and bob was rewarded for um for um pulling the sword out of the stone and this might contain some spoilers but I'm not gonna say the rest for you guys and anyways the minions try to save the day and somehow a special person it comes at the end of the movie of minions but I'm not gonna spoil it because you probably have seen the, mo the movie for yourselves so anyways, the minions find a new master once once again. I'm not going to spoil it because I'm just trying to keep things simple. And the and the minion and there's a also an the a mid credit scene when when the minions find their new master and th and this follows up to the first despicable me movie that is coming that that follows up afterwards. And and that's the end of the movie. So I had really high expectations going to see Minions. I thought it was cute, funny, and hilarious seeing all the min Minions back on the big screen since D Despicable Me, Despicable Me Two, that I saw in theaters back in 2013. And I and I had to say the Minions were really funny. They were cute. They were kind of a little mischievous at first. And it's hard to to know what they're saying because they speak in this 
meanie niche kind of language that they use and they're obsessed over bananas which is really funny so yep I did like the movie and I know this movie got mixed reviews I don't know why it did but I thought I thought I thought it was really cool seeing the minions again and the and the best part of the movie was of course the minions um scarlet um she didn't have like like almost enough screen time and she, and her character was not that too much of a villain because you know yeah but i would but she was okay she was she was she was she played a good villain um herb um i just pretend that herb was not even in the movie at all <laughs> and the minions really make the biggest role in the whole entire film i just love them from beginning to end so yeah and i forgot to mention that alice and janney and Michael Keaton are in this film as the family criminals, just so you know. And I really enjoyed Minions. It, it was a blast. I really liked it from start to finish. So, yeah. And like I said, there's a very special character that makes a cameo in this movie, but I'm not going to spoil it once again because you may know, you you may already know it. So that's going to be my movie review for Minions. Tell me what you guys thought of it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Was it was it okay? Leave it in the comments box down below. And also, I would give give Minions a perfect 10 out of 10 and the score I would give it is a definite A+. So, if you guys have any other ratings or scores on this film, t tell me in the comments below and I'll be sure to un understand it. And, I really enjoyed, enjoyed this movie. I don't know if, if I like this, like this movie over Inside Out be because they are both good animated films. But they're made by two different companies. So, yep, that's going to be my review from my movie review for minions tell me guys who is your favorite minion or who is your favorite character in the movie it could be scarlet it could be like the minions it could be anyone else leave in the comments box down below so don't forget to rate like favorite comment and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys later and once again i'm gonna show you the destroy this this little ornament hello uh baby doll Hello, banana. Oh, YouTube. Okay, so I just want to do my Minions impression for you guys just to get you cracking up. But once again, here is my little ornament of the of I of of Stuart because if you know notice in the in the film, Stuart is the one-eyed minion. But yeah. So anyways, yeah. So anyways, thank thanks for watching you guys. Once again, this is Stuart with me. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. You guys, don't forget to once again don't don't forget to rate, like, favorite, comment and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys again next time. Hey, <laughs> bye-bye YouTube. <laughs> Banana. <laughs>